Hello everyone, this is Dan, your resident Digimon fan. Welcome back to the channel where today I'm going to be constructing, or attempting to construct, this uh, War Greymon Bandai Spirits 2021 figure. So my friend Stuart got this for me for my birthday, so thanks Stu. And uh, I've never constructed one of these before. I thought this is uh, it's a really cool gift, especially as War Greymon and Metal Greymon are two of my favourite Digimon. So I thought I'd uh, bring out the War Greymon playmat and we'll have a look at trying to construct this boy. So he comes in several pieces that you have to clip out and then attach together. And there's also stickers that add to it as well. So I've currently got the wide angle lens just so we can see the full box. And I'll move to the normal lens once we make a start. So opening up the box, we first of all have all the pieces. So they are in several bags like this. Apologies for the loud crinkling if there is, but you can see certain things already coming together. So like you've got his claws here, and you've got like the brave shield on the back, which is really awesome. We've got here some red and silver pieces, like his feet and his chest piece, which is really nice looking. We have some more yellow and silver, some orange and red, and we have more orange pieces over here, including some stickers as you can see including his eyes <laughs> which is kind of creepy and then in the bottom of the box we have the instructions if i can get this out there we go okay so the key to constructing these figures is that you don't need any glue or anything it's purely uh, all, all you really need is to be able to take out the bits of plastic and attach them together so Stu has also lent me some like plier shear type thing so that I can quite easily remove the plastic bits with a, in, in a nice fashion and we'll have to follow through the instructions here so this I believe is already midway through this is constructing his legs and his shield and I think on the other side is actually where you would start so I'm going to take things out of the packaging have a quick read of this and then we will make a start it's all falling off the table great stuff let's have a look Okay, so looking at the instructions, I think I've pretty much figured out uh, how this all works. So first of all, we've got the nippers, which were these tools which I referred to earlier. So they're really good for uh, breaking parts off. It also recommends using tweezers for small parts and stickers. So I managed to find some tweezers that I had lying around. We have cutting out the parts. So it suggests here how to use the nippers to take the parts out and then to clip the end bits off. It says here about securing the parts um, together, make sure you do it securely. And then over here, it shows or demonstrates how we actually determine which parts we need to use. So for example, if we have a look at the start down here, we're going to start off with the head. Part one suggests we need A5, PC7, and C1. So I found this piece up here, and up here it says, it might be hard to see, it says PCF. So PC7 is this piece down here, which if you have a look, it actually does compare to the picture so we know that's the correct part so we'll need him in a second we also need uh, C1 so what have I got here I've got C1 uh, C18 so we can see here this is C1 and C18 is this piece here which you can see kind of closely matches that piece if we turn it around so we'll need C1 and then we also need A5 so this is A as you can see up here and five is this piece here which if I turn that way I believe it matches the diagram so that's the uh, way in which it's constructed uh, let's start pulling out these pieces and uh, putting it together so let's see so I need to remove nip the ends off Okay, and we're gonna end up with lots of rubbish, I think. So that is piece A5, now that it's been taken out. So, pretty cool. Let's do C1. There is C1, 8. And there is PC7. So now what we've got to do, now we've got our three parts, is to snap them into place as shown on the diagram. So it shows here that we've got to attach PC7 into here. 
So I think it's demonstrating that the bottom part is the bit that needs to clip on, which I guess would be here, but then I'm not sure entirely how that clips. So perhaps it means the top like that. Um, but then that doesn't quite clip into place. So I'm not entirely sure how that works. Okay, got it. So this is actually uh, Wargreymon's neck. So we attach this bit in here like that. So that, that sticks out underneath. And then we attach this bit into there. And then we clip them together. So this should stay in place. And then you've got like a, a neck piece. Let's see if we can get that to go nice and tight. There we go. Okay, first piece down. <laughs> okay, next we need D14. Okay, here is D14. Looks like it's Wargreymon's hair. So let's pull him out. So now we need to attach his hair to here. So you can see there's a square there and a square there. So that, I believe, will just clip onto that. Like that. Very nice. Next up, we need C16 and C17, which are the two halves of his head. So you can see you've got six and seven there, one half with his horn and one without. Let's see. There we go, both parts of Wargreymont's head. So now all we have to do is stick the stickers on and then attach it to his head. So I think I'm going to attach it to its head first and then put the stickers on afterwards. So C16 goes on this side. So I believe this circle bit is what attaches into there. And then we have C17 on the other side, which attaches into there. And then these should clip together. There we go. Let's clip his nose together. Cool, off to a great start. We've already got his head in his hair. Looking pretty fancy. Let's put his, uh, put his eyes on. Here's our uh, sticker sheet. Those are his eyes, so we've got one and two. And I believe one is on this side, two is on the other. So this is gonna be uh, a bit delicate, this one. There we go, there's eye number one, looking pretty menacing and pretty cool. Sticker went on quite easy, which is nice. And there we have eye number two. Looking awesome already. So now we're on step two, and we need to attach his horns, of course, and also we need to attach some stickers to his horns for authenticity. Looks like a horn to me. So there's our two horns. I don't know which one is which. I'm not sure if it really makes a difference. Um, we'll find out, I guess. Okay, so this sticker, I believe, starts here. And then you wrap it around the horn very gently. And then it attaches like that. Doesn't look particularly good on the back. Probably could have done a better job of that. First horn attached, looking pretty awesome. And now there's both horns plus stickers. Looking really cool. All right, let's move on. So now we're moving on to the body, which should be slightly larger pieces in his head, thankfully, because that was a bit of a pain. So we need C110 and D15. Here's C110 and D15. So this bit's pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna be putting these into here so that it looks like the stitching on his armor. There you go. Looks really nice. And then we need A6 in order to attach these pieces together. So here we go. So just like in the diagram, we're just gonna take these two pieces, clip them together like that. That bit down there is being a bit funny. Oh no, we're in place. Super. Let's move on. So now we're moving on to step two of the body. So it looks like we're going to be attaching some joints to attach arms and legs to, and also we're going to be attaching the rest of the torso. So we need PC eight, nine, and 11. So we've got eight and nine here, and then 11 is this piece here. So according to the diagram, we've got piece nine and that slots into here like that. And then that'll be where we'll be putting the arm 
once we've put it all together. Okay, so that's both arm sockets and then we have the PC11 which should slot into this gap here if I can get it to go in correctly. There we go. And then that'll be where we attach the uh, the hips and the legs in just a moment. Nice. So we're moving on to our first yellow pieces here. So we need E14 which is this part here and I think in a moment we're going to need E15 which is the other half so I'm going to chop them both out now. Okay, we also need part A7, which is this little little piece down here. So we'll see what he's for in a second. I guess that's part of the joint. And, uh, oh, he's gone. Okay, so according to the diagram, we have to pick, uh, take part A7, and we slot him in there like that. Is that attached to the back? So that's probably part of the mechanism to attach the brave shield. And then we attach this piece into here. You can see there's a hole, so it kind of perfectly fits in. So let's slot him onto there. Cool, so that's all in place. And now we've got to do the same for the other side. So it's this piece and we need E1, no, we need another A7. So attach this piece into here and just like the other one, slot that in there and then this should clip together and close. We'll make sure that the arm sockets are sticking out. Nice, looking good. Last thing is C111, which I think is pretty much like the collarbone, um, which will be attaching the head to the torso. So this piece has come out and it slots onto here like that. A nice clicking sound. Awesome. So now we have our head and we have our torso. I'm not going to assemble everything until the very end, which is what the instructions recommend, but uh, I'm really excited already. I think he's going to be a really good size when he's put together. Um, he's going to look really nice. So I believe next we are moving on to the right arm. Okay, so for the right arm, we need some B pieces. We've got B114 and B17, as well as PC14 to put it together. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, here we have B17. And I presume this would make B114. Looks like part of his hand. And we also need a PC14, which I believe are these pieces here. I think it only needs one, so I'm going to take one out. There we go. So those two pieces slot together like that. And then we take the back hand of this and we attach this clip onto that by the looks of it. There we go. So that's part of his arm being made there. Next we need B18, which is this piece here. I'm not sure what this is, it's still part of his arm. And we also need a B116, which is this piece down here. So it looks like B18 is to attach to this piece. So we can clip that into place like that. And this piece here is to attach to the other side of this. So it looks as though it goes on this way. There we go. Took a little bit of working, but I got them together. Okay, how do you all fit together? So this is B13 over here. Looks like you put PC10 in the middle. Attach that to that. That looks about right, so switch that on. And then B14 attaches to the other side. If I can actually, if I actually have any luck at attaching them. There we go, there's our joint. And our joint fits into here. There we go, clicked into place. Getting some muscly arms now. Looks like we have more stickers now, so we need E1 and D1, and we need to attach sticker number five to E1. Uh, D1, one, which is this piece. Now we need sticker number five, which is one of these. Looks like they're the same. Almost stuck that on the wrong way, but I got there in the end. Now let's attach 
him to d1, so it would be facing this way. And you need d1 like this, and I believe that sticks into there. Like that. Looks like a shoulder pad. So now it looks like we take our shoulder pad and clip it onto the shoulder. So we will clip that into there until it clicks. Very nice. Also had to attach a sticker for his thumb claw, which honestly doesn't look particularly tidy, but I don't think I'll notice it. Then next is the exciting bit. So we've got E13 and C15, so we're actually constructing his claws together. So E13 will be this guy here. And here is C15, some pretty angry looking claws. So these ones look pretty straightforward. It's just a case of inserting this into here. So we've got these two pieces which clip in there. Clip in. Got some claws. Let's do A2. And now we have all the pieces to finally construct the rest of this arm. So we've got the uh, claws and we've got the arm itself. And then we've got this piece which is going to bring it all together. So it looks like this piece sits on his wrist like that and then that is used to clip onto here so let's have a look his hand this piece goes into there and then these pieces slot into there so if we line this up should be able to fit it in to place there we go pretty cool huh one arm down. Okay, now we're doing the same thing for the left arm, so I'll spare you the details. Here's a fast forward version of me doing it. And there we have it. Both arms are constructed. Okay, with both arms now created, we're looking to do the legs, uh, which should be interesting. So we're starting with the right leg. So we need PC5. Yes, 5. Uh, which is one of these pieces. These are all the really small bits. And we also need B118 and B120. B is the yellow pieces. No, E is the yellow pieces, B is the orange pieces. Here's B120. And B118. So it looks like we take this piece here and slot the small bit into there. Should be a little place for it to go like that. And then we use that to attach this piece like so. I can line everything up. Cool. First part of the leg. Okay, so we need another joint. So we need B11, B12, and PC4. Okay, so we take the bottom piece here. And similar to the other joints, it looks like we attach this into here and then use that as a way to attach them. Um, not entirely sure which way. <laughs> so 
So let's have a look. There we go. It had to be a particular way around, so that's attached. And we plug him into the leg like so. There we go. Step two, and looks like we're starting on the foot this time. So I need quite a few different pieces. Let's uh, let's pull them out. Slot this piece into here. There we go. And then we need D1, 2, and D1, 3 to connect them, which are red pieces, I believe. Okay, now we stick it all together. So I believe this is D1, 3 that I'm holding. And this, I think, slots into here. Hmm. I think I was just overcomplicating it, so it just kind of rests on it like that, and then this piece comes over the other side to close it off. Like so. There we go. Looks like it's uh, his shin now. So need some silver pieces now to trim his foot, so we need C1-1 and C1-2, which are these pieces over here. Okay, so we've got our foot and we have our two pieces, so let's have a look how they attach. It looks like this piece is C1-2, I probably should pay more attention <laughs> to when I pull these out. And these have little slots over here, I don't know if you can see that, where they should attach into there. So if I were to take this, that should, oh there you go, I didn't put up much of a fight. So that slides straight onto that side. And then this should do the same on the other side and join the two together. Yeah, looking cool. Okay, next we need to make some sort of joint to attach the uh, top part of the leg to the shin. So let's do that. So we need some pieces from B1 and from PC as well. Okay, I'm not sure which way around these are meant to be, but clearly this attaches onto here. Like so. And then this attaches onto here as well. And this must be closing them together. Yeah. Looks like a diagram. Then it seems we take our foot, we insert this into there. If I can get the angle right. There we go. There, quite solidly into place there. And then we take this piece, which should like look at this angle, and then we put that onto there as well. There we go, it took a little while to get the angle right, but that is one part of the right leg. Now we're going to focus on his foot, so we need B1-11, B1-10, and C1-3. So straight away we have C1-3 over here. And then no prizes for which ones are B1-11 and 10, quite clearly the ones shaped like feet. Okay, so we have the top of the foot, we have the claws and the bottom of the foot. So if we attach the claws to here, that fits in like that. And then this fits over the top. To make a nice spiky foot. Then last thing we need to do is make a joint between the foot and the shin. I guess ankle is the word I'm looking for. So we need PC two and three. So this is a two, and this is a three. So these two clearly attached to each other pretty simply. There we go. Then that slots into his foot like that. And there we have one fully functioning leg. Pretty cool.
So we've graduated to full colour instructions now. Not sure why one half is colour and one is black and white. I guess just to make it more complicated. But uh, we're going to be making a left leg now. So it should be the exact same as the right leg, uh, but just repeated. So I will speed through this one. And there we go. Two legs. Almost there. Okay, so two more pieces to go. We've got the waist, and then we have the brave shield, which is where it looks like the remainder of the stickers will be going. Um, although, that being said, it just occurs to me that I didn't put a thumbnail on one of the one of the uh, thumbs, so I better do that now. Okie dokie. So for the waistband, we need B112, and we need two PC6s. So here's PC6 over here. We're now getting down to some of these uh, plastic molds having very few pieces left, which is pretty good. Makes it easier to find what you're looking for. Speaking of which, looks like B112 is our last big orange piece on B1. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like these pieces hinge onto here. Do they do hinge in or hinge out? It looks like it's hinge out. So I've got to make sure that's on there properly, nice and tight. And the same with the other side. That's a tough piece to get on, actually. There we go. That's better. Okay, next we need a black piece. Haven't had a black piece for a while, so it's A4, which is this piece here. So if we take A4 and we attach A4 like so. There we go. Perfect. Next we need E1 and E2, some yellow pieces. Oh, sorry, E11 and E21, so that'll be this piece here, and then this piece here. So these stick into these gaps like this. So you see it's like the bits that attach to his belt. There you go, like so. So here we need C19, which is the final silver piece so that's the final piece of silver and we need d16 and d16 is the final red piece very few pieces to go so we attach these two parts like so and then you can see we also need to attach this to a3 So we have A3 here, and it looks like this must slot into here. Yeah, so it slots it into the here, and then up here, and clicks into here by the looks of it, which is an interesting choice. There we go. That sounded convincing. 
and then finally this bit attaches to here so if I bring this over here so we can see it so you see those bits have lined up there that bit needs to line up underneath there we go awesome and now we have his waist so now according to the diagram we can construct him and then just do the brace shield at the end so let's do that let's get all our pieces so we have the right and the left arm we have the waist we have the right and left leg we have the body and the head so let's start putting him together start by the head there we go let's attach this arm over here arm number one arm number two Now with the waist. And now with uh, both of his legs. So he's already looking pretty awesome. Um, all we need to do now really is attach his brave shield. So let's get on with that. Okay, so it looks like the shield is constructed in multiple parts, so we need E17 and A8. So E17 is this piece here. And A8 is this piece. So it looks like they fit onto each other like so, so with the black piece underneath, obviously. Go. stick them together nice and tight and we do the same for the other side okay now we just have to affix the stickers so there's quite a few stickers in here so it's going to take a little while to put these on so I will do that off camera right well after it feels like a week <laughs> I've finally been able to attach the stickers and um, they don't look terrible they are not amazing not my best work for sure but they certainly look pretty decent so now it's just a case of attaching our shields to Wargreymon and then we are done right so we have these two little nubbins on the back and they slot into these bits here so we can put that bit on there like so and then this one on there And there we have it, looking pretty awesome. So there we have it everyone, our completed War Greymon figurine. He's quite adjustable, so you can move his legs around, you can move his arms around, you can position him to do whatever you want really, you can have a shield open or closed at the back. Um, it's pretty cool. There's also a stand that you can buy for him which makes him a bit more easier to pose because you don't have to rely on him being able to stand on his own. Uh, but I think he looks pretty cool as he is, and I wouldn't need to get a stand for him. But yeah, really happy with him. I feel like there's one thing buying a figurine and having a figurine on a shelf, but actually having something you had to, you know, put together yourself, a bit like Lego, um, but a little bit more complex than that, I think it's, uh, yeah, really fulfilling and really worthwhile. So this has been a really cool little thing to experiment with. And thanks again, Stu, of course, for providing me with this War Greymon. He's really awesome. All right, that's everything from me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And of course, stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you soon.